All right, so after we turn the machine on, the first thing that we want to do is to home the machine. Uh, basically, homing the machine is um, telling the machine to find its starting origin point so it knows where it is. And basically, every movement will be based from that starting point. Um, so my machine, basically, when you home the machine, the machine moves toward uh, the origin of itself. It moves in the Z direction, Y direction, and X direction until it finds the sensor that tell it this is the starting point of any job. <clears throat> uh, the coordinate of the machines are the absolute coordinate, which you can see on the top of the screen, on the top left side. So the absolute coordinate is the coordinate of the machine relative to its home position. So if you look at on the right side, there is a home button. And on top of that, we have X, Y, and Z. All of those are red, which means the machine was powered on, and but the machine is not home. So the machine doesn't know uh, where it is right now. So once we press the home, machine, home button, the machine moves up in the Z direction until it finds the triggering sensor. Then it moves to the right until it finds the triggering sensor and then it comes forward toward the operator and that's where the sensor is and it will stop when it reaches that point. Uh, normally the homing process is slow, so the machine moves about five to 10% of its maximum speed uh, to find the sensors. And uh, because of that, normally we like to get the machine close to the home position and then uh, pressing the home button. So now, as you can see on the screen, X, Y, and Z, all of them turned uh, green, which means the machine is home. Uh, if you notice at the bottom beside axis calibration, if you see beside that, there is X home, Y home, and the Z home. And each of those indicate the homing sensor of the machine. Um, so basically, when the machine goes up to find its um, home position, it goes up until it reaches the sensor, and then when it does reach the sensor, uh, the Z home here, for example, uh, triggers. So just to show you this, um, so right now if I move the machine up, you can see uh, Z home is yellow, which means the machine is touching the sensor, and that's why it's activated. Uh, one thing to notice is uh, for homing, the machine goes up in the Z direction, goes to the right for the Y, and goes toward the operator for the X. If your machine is already past uh, the homing sensor, so for example, if the Z axis already is higher uh, than where the sensor is, then when you're trying to home it, the machine is going to keep going up until it hits the mechanical stop. And that's because it doesn't know uh, that it's past the sensor. So it wants to keep going up until it finds the sensor, but it has already passed the sensor before it starts. So one good practice is if whenever you want to home it, bring the Z axis down to the middle of the machine, bring the Y to the, you know, almost to the middle of the machine and the X uh, closer to the home. Just bring it so it doesn't, uh, it's not all the way up or all the way to the right and not past the sensor. So bring it there and then home it again. One thing you will notice after homing the machine is, is the machine goes back into reset whenever you home it. So again, after it's homed, your software emergency is activated. So you cannot move the machine. To deactivate it, you simply click reset. So reset is off, and now the machine is able to move. <clears throat> right beside reset on the top of the screen, we have soft limit. Soft limit is very important, and it eliminates the chances of machine crashing into itself. If the soft limit is on, that means the machine knows how much distance it has for traveling. Uh, for example, if I move Y in a negative direction, which is toward the home, it will slowly stops before it hits the mechanical stop. 
same thing as the other side. So if I move the Y axis all the way to the left, it stops before it hits the mechanical stop. Same thing for X and same thing for Z. Um, and that's because we have the soft limit on. If the soft limit is turned off, then the machine will not stop before it hits the mechanical stop and it continues going. One benefit of having the soft limit off, maybe if you're doing a job that's slightly bigger than your work area. So this machine, for example, is five foot by 10, but your sheet that you're cutting is maybe 5.2 inches or 5.1 inches, and you need to go beyond your soft limit of the machine. Uh, you can do it, it's a little bit risky, so we recommend always having the soft limit on so you don't crash the machine.